Add power and functionality to your assignments in Canvas by adjusting what your students are turning in. We explore submission types and more in This Week in Canvas. Welcome to another episode of This Week in Canvas. I'm Pat Cranley, the Distance Education Coordinator at Cosumnes River College. If we examine the student experience across the entire college, there's a huge spectrum of the types of assignments we're expecting our students to complete. From analyzing maps in our geography courses to investigating the impact of a classical piece of artwork, we expect our students to submit a variety of different materials for our assignments. Canvas has some powerful options built into our assignments that allows us to customize what our students are going to be submitting. Let's check out a few compelling features with some powerful user tips that allows us to modify what our students are handing in. Now our next trick revolves around the submission type and we can find that inside of the submission type area kind of in the middle of our assignment page. It's right here. The default submission type for every Canvas assignment is initially going to be no submission. And the expectation with the no submission submission type is that they're going to be turning something in in person. So a face-to-face -face submission of, a, uh, of some homework, a lab assignment, what have you. However, if we click on this pull-down menu, you can see that we have a whole series of other submission types. And by far the most popular, of course, is online. When we choose this option, we'll be presented with a whole series of sub-choices. Okay? Um, in each one of these, the students are going to be interacting with them very differently. And you, as the instructor, are going to be um, interfacing with their submission types in the gradebook a little bit differently. And and I'd like to show you what those differences look like now. First up is text entry. I've transformed Canvas into student mode, and I've traveled back to the assignment that we're working with. And with the text entry box selected in the submission type, you can see the top of our assignment, the type of submission our students are going to be expecting. So every time you make a change to the submission type, it's reflected up here at the top, which makes it really easy for our students to understand what's expected of them. Now, what's cool for the students is that when they go to submit assignment, check it out, what they're going to be presented with is a rich content editor. And this is the same rich content editor that we see all over Canvas. So we can do really great markup. We can add images and videos. It's pretty fantastic. Of course, you want to make sure you remind your students to hit the Submit Assignment button down here at the bottom. Now, I'm just going to do test, 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 OK? Submit my assignment. It'll save it. Ba -ba -da -da. It says over here in the right-hand portion of the page that we've submitted it. It was on time. Excellent. Now, for you as the instructor, check this out. I'm going to leave student view and travel over into my gradebook because I want to see how you are going to be interfacing with the text entry field in the submission type. So let's go to our essay. Now, check this out. Of course, we could naturally just jump in. Let's look at speed grader. And there it is. So whatever they type inside of the rich content editor is just going to show up in the middle of SpeedGrader, which is pretty neat. It makes it very, very easy to see the content that our students have provided in the text entry field. The next submission type I want to show you is web URL. So once again, I'm in the assignment item inside my course nav bar. And here's the assignment that we've been working with. If I go into the edit mode of this assignment, I can change my submission type to web URL. And this one's pretty easy to understand and to see. If we hit Save, I'm going to return to my home page and jump into student view. Now, what our students are going to be able to see, or what our students are going to be expected to turn in uh, when we're using the web URL, as one might imagine, is going to be a URL, a link. Now, we can link to a couple different things in here. And this is very cool. Of course, we can just do www.los rios.edu. I'm going to add some comments. Okay, uh, We can also link to files that are on our student's Google Drive. Now, right now, because I'm in student mode it's uh, and masquerading as a student, it's not loading all of my G Drive stuff up in this area. But if you would like them to submit a Google Doc, this is an easy way for them to do that. We can also have them record some videos using Studio which is pretty neat. So if you are doing a presentation or if they're supposed to give some sort of report back to the class, they can record uh, their webcam or they can actually record their screen if they're doing like a PowerPoint presentation, which is pretty neat. For the time being, just to keep it simple, I'm going to do website URL. And of course, naturally, we're, we're going to want to submit. Let's leave student view and return to our gradebook here real fast. 
And here's a great little trick as well. I'm in the assignment, Postmodern Inventions. You can actually jump to speed grader right here in the assignment area, which makes it real fast. And now, check it out. Here's the URL, which is pretty neat. So we just click on it, it takes us over to the Los Rios webpage. The last two submission types that I want to talk about are media recordings and file uploads. Media recordings is going to fire off Canvas Studio, just like we saw in the website URL. This is where students can record a small little screen, a screen capture or a webcam capture um, directly with inside of Canvas. In the file uploads area, this is where students can physically upload some sort of file to you. So it could be a photograph, a zipped archive, a .zip, um, it could be any number of files. It could be a Word doc or a PowerPoint presentation, but this is just raw file uploads into Canvas. So both of these uh, extend the functionality of our assignments quite far and allows our students to submit any number of different things. Adjusting the submission types in our assignments adds depth and functionality to our coursework. If you're curious on how this can impact your class and would like some more information on submission types, reach out to the Distance Education team by emailing crc-de at crc.losrios.edu or by calling the CRC Canvas Helpline. Also, jump in and join our community and receive instant notifications when we post new videos by subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching this week in Canvas. We'll catch you next time.